the forehead of your robot. Roblox hides their darkest secrets by any means they can. Heck, half their updates help blind the community through anger or happiness from the conditions faced by very unlucky players. If certain stories such as 1x1x1x1 in combination with Nolly and the prophecy even surface as a threat to what they conceal within their greedy business, they announce it as a joke. This one is the most well-known, but I believe I have discovered a far more serious and fatal concern buried under the radar. I'm sure we all know by now that Roblox has begun their live broadcasting, using Twitch as have many other people as well. Their broadcasts are just Roblox employees playing games, discussing upcoming events as well as contests. Now, what if I informed you that they add subliminal messages in these videos? The broadcasts may be live, and you can call it BS if you want, but it's far more real than you can imagine. If you aren't aware of what subliminal messages are, they're basically tiny portions of a video or movie that are cut, and show you an image or play an audio clip in such a small time frame that you do not notice it. What happens though, is your mind unwraps it and sends signals throughout your body to make you feel something. An example would be fear, dirty things, or anything else that can make its viewers uncomfortable or think differently. It was used in the past during movies to convince the viewers that they want popcorn or drinks. However, it may even be a form of mind control, much like that of Polybius. Roblox's use of this was very hard to detect, but there was actually a thread on a gaming website, not Roblox, that spoke of this. The game site discussed the horror and mystery genres in depth, and could be related to creepypasta with ease as well. Roblox is hardly considered a decent game to most, but it is becoming more well-known if anything. This is why the post received around 30 responses, and if I recall correctly, about 10 of them agreed with the topic. The thing being questioned by this thread involved viewers of The Next Level Episode 5 to feel anxious and their stomachs being upset by the worry. I doubt watching a Roblox video induces any form of stress that could cause this. Note, I recently checked this post, and found that it was deleted, and no further discussion could revolve around the topic. I was certainly interested at that point, because I always love exploring the demonic and known dangers hidden in things. Yet, considering I had watched the first live stream they made of Winter Games 2013 or whatever that was, I found it hard to believe. So, I decided to watch a video for myself despite the potential risk of feeling sick. What I felt was the complete opposite, I began to feel hungry, even though I had lunch just an hour before this. Several people in the chat seemed to feel similar, so you can see I'm being sincere. What I regret not doing, and still feel foolish about, was trying to listen or watch for the additions to the video. I swear it went through cleanly, but my body says otherwise. From there I tried to find more, but there was no information regarding annoying sensations felt after watching the videos. Earlier this year though, I accidentally discovered a small article describing a peak in death in several countries. The article treated the situation as a joke, but slightly hinted the idea that the people who died were last on Twitch. They were watching Roblox, unaware of what was entering and destroying their minds. I believe the deaths were a result of suicide, but the article didn't really touch that point. I find it absolutely idiotic that it ignored that point, especially it being official. I wish I could share its name, but it happened ages ago and I cannot relocate it. All of this has caught my attention, and I no longer will view one of those demons videos ever again. It is a major risk that I for one am not willing to take. Their subliminal messages are killing innocent and young people, and use clever trickery to block it out. You never know what exactly your subconscious does with processed information, and in this case it ends lives. Watching their live streams is dangerous, but is it worth it to take such a risk?